Hey home brewers, today I'm going to teach you how to get excellent results out of a mock pot. This here is a Bialetti mock pot. This is where they come from. These guys have the patent on the things and they do it right. This one is the Mocker Express, it's made for a stovetop. So that's what we'll be using. We'll also need a grinder because I love using fresh beans to get the best results out of my coffee. And speaking of fresh beans, let's get some fresh ones. These ones here are roasted by the Storehouse Roastery, which I should know because uh, I own that roastery. So here we go. Firstly, we're gonna want to grind our coffee beans just the tiniest bit coarser than you would for a standard espresso machine. So let's get some fresh beans in the grinder and get grinding. As always with a hand grinder, grind until you feel no resistance against your hand. You're done. All right, so we take the base off the microphone. Here we have a basket and we have the water reservoir underneath. So into the basket go grinds. And now when you're filling the grinds, you don't want to go too over the top, but at the same time, not too little, okay? So I'm just going to use my finger. You don't need to compress these grinds or tamp them because under the pressure of the water hustling its way through the grinds, that grind bed will expand substantially, creating its own pressurized chamber. A little pro tip is starting with hot water as opposed to cold in your reservoir as it'll mean less time for steam to be interacting with your grind bed. So in we go, and we're grinding to just on or just below the little heat release valve. Pressure release valve, I should say. Perfect. So on she goes. And now simply tighten down your top. If you're worried about burning your hand, grab a cloth. If you're not worried about burning your hand, why? You should be worried about burning your hand. Mr. Violetti has a big idea. Let's check out what that is. There. <laughs> now if we open the lid, you'll be able to see exactly when this shot starts extracting. Hopefully straight out of the box, your Mocha Express will look a little fresher than this one, which was an excellent op shop find by my wife. Now just be patient with it, because it takes a few minutes. You can start to hear the steam hissing as it comes up to the grind bed. And pretty soon it's going to make its way up and out of the top chamber. There it is. Beautiful. And we're going to just let that fill into the top chamber until we start getting a real sputtering and spattering coming out the top. And that's when we'll turn the gas down and it's ready to pour. And that's about it. We'll shut the lid because things get a bit wild. All right, there it is. Coffee's in the top. Now this is a six cup. So technically, this is supposed to be six espresso cups shared between friends. But if you're like me, like a decent coffee kick in the morning, you may just be drinking all that to yourself with a dash perhaps of milk in the top, or just straight. So there it is folks. That's how to make a great coffee using a mocha pot. Now, as soon as you're done making the coffee, be sure to clean the grinds out and run some cold water through the chambers, give it a good scrub, dry it really well to stop the metal oxidizing, which will stop it from corroding on the inside. A few things to remember are, use fresh brines. It's gonna taste so much better if the grinds are fresh. Also, make sure your coffee's fresh. Don't use old coffee. Third thing, use filtered water. All coffee tastes better if you're using a good, soft, filtered water as opposed to water straight from the tap. And then preheat the bottom chamber so that there's less interaction in the grind bed with steam throughout the brewing process. This will mean you get a sweeter tasting cup. You're missing a lot of that bitterness that is often synonymous with using a mock pot, right? 
And remember, don't tamp your muffle blow. The expansion of the grinds themselves will pressurize that chamber just by itself. You don't need any extra help from you, but do fill that chamber. Thanks again for watching Home Brewers. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, happy brewing.